5 billion ISK in a month, only with PvE. Sounds crazy, right? It is! A lot of you guys asked me, hey, how can I earn ISK? Today, I'll show you how you can make about 5 billion ISK in a month, only with PvE, and to start that, you really don't need a single ship or even a single ISK, or even some skill books for that. You can start that as an alpha account. Sounds crazy, right? It is! So, first of all, I am not a PvE player, I am doing PvP. Bad and dirty business. Shoot people, kill them, loot their rack and sell the stolen items. So I'm for sure a bloody PvE noob. I know there are for sure much better PvE players out there, but for me this works wonderfully. I can do PvE semi-AFK. I watch my lovely Riverdale series on Netflix and earn ISK while doing that. And I'm going to show you how to do this and where you need to go for that. So first off, if you're new to the game, complete your tutorials and after that you need to leave high sec. Sounds odd, but that's how it works. High sec is not the place where you make the big money in the beginning. Go and head to null sec. And it really sounds crazy, but null sec can be much safer for you than high sec is. Okay, so first apply to Pandemic Horde. Very easy to get in, you apply today and can start earning money there tomorrow. It's a basic corporation, Pandemic Horde Inc. You don't need minimum skill points for that, there's no interviews, nothing. It's really easy, you apply in-game and you're in. That's it. I believe Pandemic Horde is the only NullSec alliance that accepts everyone without extensive checks. You're in immediately and you can start earning money right away, even with an alpha account. It didn't even take a day and I was in the corporation. First of all, take a shuttle and fly to their headquarter and, well, that's it basically. You don't need any ships or anything, only a shuttle. After your application, Pandemic Horde will send you a welcome message. Read it and set up everything. If you have any questions, ask in the new Bean channel or on Discord and they will help you very fast. So you've completed your tutorials in HiSec and bought yourself a shuttle, then you join Pandemic Horde and already flew to the headquarters, right? Okay. Now you still have no ship and no money. So here is how it works and where the magic happens. Go to the new Bean channel and ask for a care package handout. No worries, it's a 100% free handout. You don't need to pay anything for that. The Alliance gifts you a complete starter package. You don't need to spend a single ISK for that. You receive 14 ships and a shuttle. Inside the shuttle there are even skill books for you, 43 skill books so you can learn all the basic skills you need for these particular ships. So again, the point is they support you for free, no pressure for something like a fleet participation and you don't need to pay it back. There's only one rule for that, apply and ask for it. And that's it basically. The ships are full fitted and here is also the Vexer, your beginner PvE ISK maging machine. You will find the rigs in the cargo, by the way. The next benefit is, if you lose your Vexer, they will hand you out a new one. And I mean, be careful in space, but hey, only in case. If you lose it, ask for a new one. And you can also ask how to avoid losing one and they will help you with some advice. As a basic member of Pandemic Horde, you can do PvE anywhere here, so wherever it's shown in green. I've chosen this area down here, very quiet, hardly any neutral players pass through, and it's only three jumps from the headquarters. And again, please always make sure you join the Pandemic Horde standing fleet. They will protect you, you know, <laughs> only in case if you need it. So first, you pick a quiet system, then look at the anomalies. We're only interested in the drone horde anomalies, not the drone herd. Go for the drone horde anomalies only, okay? You know, the magic is, if there is an escalation, it will always lead to a guaranteed 10 out of 10 escalation. When you warp to the combat site, set a bookmark. Right click on your ship and set a safe spot somewhere in space. 
Because if an enemy ever enters the system, do not warp, and I mean never, ever do that, to the station. Please make sure you warp to your safe spot. If the enemies are some PvP pros, they will first bubble the station. So always warp to the safe spot. Next, report the enemy at Bean Intel. Oh, by the way, even if an NPC carrier appears on your side, warp out immediately. Leave your drones there. So when you land, please orbit the structure. Activate your afterburner, launch your drones, and that's it. It's important that you orbit the structure. Don't stand still, you will speed tanking the NPCs, so you need to orbit. So at this point, your drone will do the rest. I, for example, I watch Netflix on a second screen. So when you finish the site, sometimes escalations happen. These always lead to a 10 out of 10 escalation. And then you have two options. You can fly the escalations and earn something between, I don't know, 400 million and 1 billion, or you can sell the escalation. As a beginner, you won't be able to fly the escalation with your Vexor, so just sell it. There's a channel called Zulu's Bazaar, where you simply fly to the escalation up to the gate, and then set a bookmark and sell the escalation for 130 million. Easy earned ISK. I've been doing PvE for 10 days now, and in these 10 days I've earned 1.2 billion and sold 4 escalations, each for 130 million. That's 520 million plus the 1.2 billion, totaling 1.72 billion, that's 5.16 billion a month. They gift you ships. And if you lose your Vexor, they gift you a new one. They give you skill books, protect you with the standing fleet, and offer support channels and beginner fleets where you can learn everything. There's no reason to have ISK problems, even in the beginning. This is just one example, there are many other ways to earn a lot of ISK here. I mean, hey, you come with empty pockets, and you leave with a total of 15 billion in 3 months. It sounds like a cool start, doesn't it? <laughs>